Don't like the animals. All they do is jibber and jabber all day long. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Where do cowboys cook their meals? On the range. <laughs> <laughs> guys I have a few things to review for you guys from Force Friday um, I have some black series I have some pops to review so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those and let's go alright first guys we have the Rogue One t-shirt that we got right when we walked into Toys R Us we have this awesome t-shirt that they gave us for free this is a $15 t-shirt and I couldn't ask for anything better here is a close-up of the shirt on the side of the box. I do not have mine opened yet. Alright guys, the first Black Series figure I did pick up was Jaren Urso. I was iffy iffy on picking this up because I didn't know if I wanted it or not because I have not seen the movie yet. But fuck it, I just got it because if I don't get it now, it's not going to be on the shelves later. Here is a description of the artwork in the back of the box. You can see she is marked number 22 in the series. And you guys can go ahead and press pause right now if you want to go ahead and read that. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a 360 view of the box on the outside. It is a very nice, simple Star Wars The Black Series. She is marked number 22, and I really like these red and black boxes, but I honestly thought with the new movie release, I thought they would switch up the box color like they normally do. But you can't complain much. Really nice artwork, so let's go on to the next figure. Next, we have Captain Cassian Andor. Um, we do not know much about these Rogue One characters, but I can't wait for this movie to come out. Here's a look at the back of the box. You can go ahead and pause the video now if you want to read that description and the artwork in the back. Here is a 360 view of the box. Here is mark number 23 in the series, and you can see the art and work in the back. It's the same simple packaging as the rest of them, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure. Next, we have K2SO, which I think is one of the best figures in the wave. Um, so, so simple, but they got everything perfect in this figure. I want to open it so bad, but have not yet done it. Gonna buy a multiple of this one. Here is a look of the back of the box. He is marked number 24 in the wave, and I really, really like this figure. Go ahead and pause it right now if you want to read that description. Now, here is a 360 view of the box and the artwork. He is marked number 24 in this series. It's a very, very awesome Black Series 6-inch figure. And last but not least, we have the Imperial Death Trooper, which in my opinion, I think is the best figure in the wave besides K2SO. He is a very simple design, but very hard to mess up. I love the matte black finish on him. Great figure. Here's a look at the back of the box. If you want to go ahead and pause the video right now to read the description. He is marked number 25, and that artwork in the back is so awesome. And here is a 360 view of the figure in the box. I really want another one of this so I can unbox it for you guys. Um, I'm kind of poor from Force Friday. Spent a lot of money, so need to save up money. So when I get a chance, I will buy another multiple of this figure to show you guys. Alright guys, I know I don't collect these figures anymore, but I could not pass them up. It's the very first time the Black Series and Hasbro has made a Lando figure and had to pick him up. Let's go ahead and take a view of the back of the box. Here is the description in the back of the box if you want to go ahead and pause it right now. And the artwork of the silhouette is very awesome. Now here is a 360 view of the figure inside the box. Love the packaging. Very simple Black Series packaging. Hasbro has nailed it almost every time. Um... Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and take a look at him. Here he is out of the packaging. He comes with two accessories, a cloth cape and a gun. It is not easy to get the gun in his hand. Um, he has a cool little sling so you could put his gun, his blaster in it. Um, so let's go ahead and see what he looks like without the cape. Here he is without gun and blaster, just a simple figure. I love the detail on him. He is a very cool figure and I like the likeness in him. Here is a 360 view of the figure with all his accessories on. This is an awesome figure. I am very glad I did pick him up when I seen him. I do not know how scarce he will be in stores. And he is a Walmart exclusive. 
because all the three and quarter inch figures are Walmart exclusives. Here is a 360 view of him without his cape and gun in holster. This is a really cool figure. I really do like him. Here he is in the most ridiculous stance I can get him in. I really like this figure. Here is the other three and three quarter figure I picked up, the Emperor's Royal Guard. This one really stood out to me the most because he came with so many accessories, which kind of made him worth the $10 price tag, because he's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and look at the back of the box. Again, guys, I do not know how scarce these figures are. They are Walmart exclusives, and everybody knows how Walmart is with stocking things. So here is the back of the description of the box. You guys can go ahead and pause it right now if you want to read it. Here is a 360 view of the figure inside of the box. You guys can go ahead and look at that right now. And here is the figure outside of the box. This figure is so awesome. They did the cloth perfect on this figure. The accessories and everything, it's so awesome. Here are two still images of the best poses I can get them in with the respected weapons that they came with. Here he is with his double-sided sword. And the next picture you can see him holding just his one single-sided sword. Here is a 360 view of the figure right out of the packaging. He's very awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at what he looks like with his other accessories. Okay, here is a 360 view of the figure without head and cape. You, I honestly did never knew that there was a regular guy underneath there. I honestly thought it was like an alien or something, but it is a regular guy, and that is what the suit looks like without the cape. Now, here is a 360 view of the figure with other accessories, his other helmet, and other shoulder piece. And here is a 360 view of both figures in the most ridiculous pose I can get them in. Alright guys, now to the pops. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite one of Rogue Friday or Force Friday that I picked up. This is an awesome cho Force Choke Darth Vader from Rogue One. He is a GameStop exclusive. So let's go ahead and take it to the back of the box. Here is a look at the back of the box. We can see the other characters from Rogue One. None of us know much about them. But you can see in the bottom two right hand corner, you can see that the Smuggler's Bounty Box has been spoiled for some people that do not like spoilers. Here is a 360 view of the box with the pop inside. This is an awesome pop. I really like the artwork on these boxes. They really came out nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pop outside of the box. Here is a 360 view of the pop outside of the box and honestly guys, I think this is the best Vader pop to date. I really like the way they did the helmet, the gloss on the eyes, the brown tint that they added to make it look more realistic. Awesome pop. Thank you guys for giving us this pop. Alright guys, next we have Saw Guerrero. A lot of people had this problem whenever they were going to Walmart, they couldn't find this guy. He is a Walmart exclusive, but they I feel like they rushed him out of the factory and they didn't put the sticker on them because he is not on the back of the box and when the Funko release showed them that they are Walmart exclusives. Here's a 360 view of the pop inside of the box. He is nowhere to be seen on the back of the box because he is a Walmart exclusive. So let's go ahead and get the pop outside of the box and take a look at him. Now here is a 360 look of the pop outside of the box. I really like this pop. They showed the battle damage on his face really good. I really like the suit and the work, the paint apps that they put into the suit. Really delicate work pop. I like the foot, the robot foot on him. It's really cool. So I can't wait to see more of his character. Finally, the last thing that I picked up on my Force Friday morning was this at Target. It was a Target exclusive Jin Urso Funko Pop and her in her space suit. I honestly think this is the best Jin Urso pop to get to date. I don't know if they're going to come out with more because they always do. But the best one I think to get if you guys are going to get one of them, I think this Target exclusive one is the best one. Here is a 360 view of the pop inside of the box. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Here is a 360 view of the Jin Urso pop. I honestly think this is the best pop to get because of the suit and everything. I like the finish on the suit, the paint colors and everything. All right guys, thank you guys for joining my Force Friday haul and hunt review. I will have a video guys for Thursday for the New York Comic Con pops that are coming out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys. Later. Um, I've been kind of busy lately with school and everything. So just try not to forget to like, comment and subscribe guys. Later.
Guys, I got my Entertainment Earth magazine in the mail yesterday, I believe. And look at this fucking amazing helmet. Phasma will miss... You could go ahead and pause it right there. Look at this bad boy. Guess how much this bad boy is wearable. I I would I would have bought this bad boy if it would have been for like a hundred something bucks. Oh man. God damn. <laughs> Look at this bad boy too. Honestly, I think the new uh, Black Series helmet. I don't like. They kind of make I don't know the modern look of it. It's cool still. But I don't, I don't, I don't like it as much as the old helmets, the the old stormtrooper helmets. But this one is six hundred dollars. But these are probably like down to the exact detail. But this one has the metalized finish. Oh, oh man.